It's midnight on Thursday. Some people might think it's time for bed, but not in this city. The New York dining scene is just picking up. Let's go check it out. I'm here with owner and chef of the Blue Ribbon, Eric Bromberg. So New York at the moment is absolutely obsessed with like the late night dining craze. When are you guys open? We are open from 4 p.m. till 4 a.m., seven days a week. So what's the crowd like late night? Restaurant, maitre d's, waiters, everyone through the team. After you work a whole night, there's nothing better than sitting in a restaurant and being taken care of. What brought you guys the Blue Ribbon this evening? Just the atmosphere, the ambiance, the service, everything's absolutely amazing. There's probably 60 some odd things on the, on the menu. Whatever time you get here, and they serve till 4 in the morning, um, there's an energy going on. the time to sit down and have a real meal just doesn't work with your busy schedule. Let's head over to Tabam where you can grab a quick food fix until really late or early, depending on how you look at it. So Nobu, can you tell us a little bit about the idea behind Bam? Oh, Bam. Bam is just about quick bites, good bites, Bam. What type of food do you serve it? Well, we serve familiar American taste burgers, mac and cheese, croquette. Why are you here tonight? Well, because we were just walking by and we're a little drunk. You can't miss this place every time you walk by. We were just out drinking and we'd like to get some food. I think I have enough for a corn dog, I'm not sure. Yes, yes, I have enough for a corn dog. So I get to try some food? Definitely. Should I just put this in now? Just drop it in, yeah. And then pull any of the doors. And then bam, bam, bam. Ooh, yeah. I'm excited. This is so good. This is amazing. Bam is perfect for late night food on the go, but a restaurant that serves a full, upscale menu 24 hours a day is something pretty unique. Let's go check out Florent, the granddad of the late night food scene. So after 23 years, what makes this a hot spot? What are the components? Value is very important. People are always going to come back for value. So I, unfortunately I heard you guys are closing. What's the story behind that? The rents are exploding. When I tried to get an extension three years ago with my landlord, it was obvious that there was no way that we could meet. As for all, prepares to close its doors for good. Another West Village hotspot is getting all the late night food buzz. I'm here with Ken Friedman, one of the co-owners of the Spotted Pig. This place is hot and fabulous. What's the deal? For some reason, New York's full of bars that have bar food, and restaurants have restaurant food. And I thought one day, why do bars not have great food? Like, why don't I do a bar that has a real chef in the kitchen? So that's what we are. What makes the Spotted Pig so hot? It feels like home. It's a very neighborhood bar. Food's fantastic. Uh, they have great, like, little snacky foods and, like, full entrees. The burgers are the best. Burgers, hands down. That's what I come here for. In this city, you can dine however you want, whenever you want. And if that means a 4 a.m. food fix, then we've got you covered. <laughs>